What's going on, YouTube? Happy to see y'all. Happy to be engaged. Happy to be consistent. Um. So first and foremost, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I definitely. What is today? Today is Monday. So I filmed the video Saturday, I believe. I filmed the video Saturday, and I was filming. It was going perfectly fine, and people kept coming in, and I'm like, bruh, job fucking up. The, it was messing up the audio, messing up the quality. I'm like, and people kept interrupting. So that's why if y'all ain't see a video this weekend, that's why. But hey, we gonna get right into it the next day, so we good, we straight. But. I hope everybody day going good. I hope your day going good. I hope my day going great, so I'm straight. Um, if anybody have any questions, comments, and concerns, you can text me on Instagram. You can text me on Instagram. What the? Hey, Slim. The cat just jumped off the banister, fool. But hey, y'all, I don't know what the, I don't know what just happened, but hey. But yeah, y'all. So today we do have a Q and A. We do have a Q and A today, and that's what that's what this video will be about. So those who don't know, there are more videos coming along. So be patient. Um, I, I do have some stuff for y'all that's coming up. Some new videos. If you guys have any video ideas, just let me know in the comments. So any newcomers, any new subscribers, any new fans, supporters, I appreciate it. Tap in with the channel, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, even share the video. Don't just watch the video. Like the video, comment. If you haven't, before you watch this video, I'm gonna need you to pause this. I'm gonna need you to pause this. Go watch the other video. I'm gonna put that right here. Go watch the other video. The other video will be in the description. Go watch the other video because before you do this one, watch everything in order. So I'm just letting y'all know. Now, we do have only a limited amount of questions for the Q&A, but that's fine. As long as you guys are answering questions or giving me questions to answer, then I'm straight. But I'm gonna need y'all to tap in with my Instagram too, because some of y'all just be, I hate, bro, one of the pet peeves, bro, you were live with. You would really post something in your story for people to answer. And they would just look at it and not reply. I'm like, if anything, I could just unfollow you, right? Because if, if, you, if you're not going to be active, why the hell you follow? Like, really? Why you follow? But yeah, y'all, we can just get straight into this video. If you love your mom, like the video. If you love yourself, like the video. Don't just watch. Come on, man. First person asked me, who do I look up to? That's a good question because nowadays, Modern society in 2024. Models in the world right now, they're more so like copy and paste. Like I feel like everybody just, most people are just copy and paste. Like you look at something, and there's somebody who's doing the exact same thing. Like there's no culture, there's no flow. Like everybody, everybody nowadays don't have their own flow. It's like everything's just copy and paste. But some people I do look up to are would be Justin Water. That's a that's a person, in fact, that you, that you guys probably, for the man, I feel like the men know this, but Justin Water would be a person that I look up to as a positive role model in, in today's society. And also with my family, my uncle, I really appreciate my uncle. And even the guys that, that, that aren't only in a sense of, I can do better. Like, I don't want to end up like that. That's what keep me going for it. Like, I'm not gonna end up, that's not where I plan on ending up. And that's not, that's not my route. But yeah, that's that's somebody who I, that's, a, that's two people who I look up to. Two people who I look up to. Um, second question. Why did I start YouTube? That's a good question. The reason I started YouTube was because I had to realize, I had to sit back, reevaluate myself and realize that we have, as a younger generation, we have a lot of opportunities right in front of us and we take it all for granted. Like, it's to the point where people re people really sit on social media and just swipe all day. For instance, TikTok. People, you, 
I ain't gonna say I never been there because I definitely have, but TikTok is definitely one of the main social media platforms that are, that's a huge distraction. But I just realized that all these social media platforms that people use are opportunities that you can make money from. And especially online nowadays where everything is so easy to access. So that's why I started YouTube and I feel like it's building, it's kind of building, a, it's a building a foundation for me. Like it started somewhere. And I realized that I can just do this on my own. It's, and I have a team with me that will help me along the journey. That's why I started using you. Third question. Top three life goals. Top three life goals. If you have, okay. In the comments, I want you to comment three of your life goals that you have in the comments for the people that are watching this video. Comment three of your life goals. It don't have to be, it doesn't have to be all long. It can be short. Um, but comment your three life goals in the comments. One of my life goals would be definitely do what I want whenever I want. A second life goal, being able to inspire others. I feel like I always had a passion of like helping other people. They're like, I don't want to say anything that's too specific because can't tell everybody what your plans are. I believe the first life goal that I mentioned just ties on to all the other goals because that's essentially, essentially that's what goes under everything. So I guess I'll just say that that's what be, that will be the final. Um, Three things is you can't live without it. You can't, I said, jumped up my words. It's gonna be all. Three things you cannot live without. Huh, water. Huh, two, food and myself. Food, water, and myself. If anybody know me, water is my number one drink. And that will always be my number one drink. I love water. Give me two. Anytime I even go to a restaurant, water. I always ask for water. Um, food, I definitely love food. I'm open to trying new things everywhere I go. Um, third thing, myself. Can't live without myself. Next question is, what would you tell your younger self? I can't get. I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to disclose my age right now. But when I was 16, 17. I would definitely tell my younger self to focus on things that would make me a better person. Even from six months or a year from now. I would definitely tell myself, focus on things that make your life better and stop worrying about pointless things like playing video games, watching TV too much. Um, just pointless stuff that's not gonna help you in the long run. And the next question would be, oh, and what would you, what would you guys tell yourself? What would you guys tell your younger self for all, for all the, the adults adults in the comments, for all the adults adults in the comments? What would you tell your younger self? If you could prevent anything, what would you tell your younger self? Um, what are some goals that you want to accomplish by the end of the year? That's the next question. I feel like if I disclose this, it's too specific. I can't. I can't disclose this. I would say it. I could try to be. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. I feel like that's giving away so much stuff. So we're gonna skip to the next question. Next question is. I can't really see it. My phone messed up, y'all. If you don't know, I messed up my phone, man. It's messed up. But next question I say, what do you think about <clears throat> what do you think about if your girl got a male friend she flirted with and is still friend with? I would definitely talk to the person about it. <clears throat> we would definitely have a conversation about it. About this. Because personally I'm not gonna you know for me and my standards and my boundaries, I don't want a girl who has male friends. It's nothing about insecurity actually. It's not, but let's think about it. We're in a world now where 
a lot of people have easy access, just like I was going back to the internet, has easy access, which is became more easy than ever as technology gets better. So, and I, oh, for real, for real, those men that you call your friends, speaking, just speaking about the girls that, those men that you call your friends are not really your friends. They're just there the whole time waiting for an Uber spat. Say if your dude, you and your dude get in an argument and you, say you cheated on him. Say you cheated on him. I'm talking to the lady. See if he cheated on him. He just waiting for an open spot. He just waiting for to see like what you say. He might throw a little something, like a little shot in there to see how you react. He waiting. He not really your friend. It's not really platonic. At that point, the guy is just just waiting. To me. Personally, I'm not dating a girl who has male friends. Or if she does want to be with me, you either be with me or your male friends. Because your male friends, they don't really, they're not really your friends. They're just waiting for opportunity in the spot. They're just waiting for opportunity. So, hey, if, if a girl, that's all I got to say. This is some game for the gentleman. If a girl really love you, every other man is invisible to her. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but next question, next question. Next question. I know my phone messed up. So I just showed y'all, so y'all know. A pain on women who receive things but don't give. I mean, if I feel like y'all, you guys are in like a relationship for a long enough amount of time and you prove yourself that, you know, like nothing's, nothing going crazy. Like y'all genuine, y'all feel mutual about each other. And you buy her stuff. I mean, I can understand from her point of view because I, it, one thing, one thing, one truth that I'm about to spill to the guys is that the ladies, they don't really spend their money on guys like that. They don't. They don't really spend money for other people like that, more other than themselves. So they, like their money is for them for the most part. So if a girl really spends money on it, when you, I ain't gonna lie, she she really like you like that. She she really do. In most situations, like if you guys are taking each other serious and she y'all really like each other, then yeah, if it's something that is mutual and that's like a friend thing. Right? Duh, of course, of course she not. <laughs> I would, like if I was her, I wouldn't even. Don't make sense. But y'all know I got through my uh comment on. Hey, walk around with y'all lips. It's not it. For the guys that's in the comments that's watching this video, bro, take care of your personal hygiene. And that's one thing, bro. Can't be walking around just smelling like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Smell like that all day, and that at least put some some on your body, like deodorant, cologne, like <clears throat> personal hygiene. That's one. So y'all, we I've just pulled up some old Q and A questions that never been answered. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask it here. All right, first question asks, if you were to have a kid tomorrow, how would your parents react? Man. <laughs> hey, as any as any parent should react. Cause at this, at an age, at an age that's this young, I ain't even about to say young like that, like I'm a youngin, but mm, yeah. We, Somebody asked my favorite shoe. That's that's a good question. My favorite shoe. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I like over the years, over the past two, three years, I really got out of shoes like that. They have really been my thing. Like all these, all these, like that's cool and all for all the people that are into shoes. Like, cause I definitely was into shoes before, but I was not the person that, like to know at all the shoe. If I see the shoe, I just like it. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, my favorite shoe, I ain't gonna lie. For the, for the people who watch Back to the Future, I know that's an all oh, that movie, oh, man. But, uh, the Nike Air Max. Time for stage two.
right here Air Max is one of my favorite shoes. Uh, they are the two and two to three year time span of when I was really into shoes. <clears throat> but my favorite shoe now, I don't, I don't believe I have any favorite shoe right now. I actually, I'm tripping. these joints. Ah, I love these shoes. All right, this is actually a good question. But the question is, how do you deal with haters? Ooh. How do I deal with haters? Man, let me tell y'all something. I'm not even gonna lie. How I deal with haters, that's what you do. The best thing to do. Not give a fuck. Don't entertain them. Because if they if they can get you tight, if haters can get you tight, then that means they can control you. That means they control you. If they can have you feeling the type of way, if they can have you, if they can have you feeling the type of way towards the point where it affects your actions, and your actions are dangerous now, then they can control you. They can control the way how you feel. So personally, how I deal with haters, I don't even worry about them. I don't care. I don't. I don't care what haters have to say. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It, it is. I think it's a good thing to hear a negative feedback sometimes. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I know it was kind of short. It was a little short. But next time, the video will be a lot longer for you guys that are interested in the Q and A's. I feel like I, I like the Q and A's. I like the questions that you guys ask me. It forces me to think too. It forces me to think as well. So I appreciate you guys having to follow me on Instagram to do that. Everything will be in the description. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.